trouble struck one of the owners at 135,000 kilometers. During a normal drive, the check engine light came on and the engine went into limp mode. An oil check showed that the level had dropped below the minimum level. And this despite the fact that the oil was added 250 kilometers ago and the level was normal. The car went to a service center, where it was diagnosed as engine wear. But how is it possible, only 135.00 km and the diesel engine has arrived? Interestingly, the roadside assistance worker who was called to the scene of the incident, it happened in Germany, was not at all surprised. He said that in the case of the transporter equipped with the 2.0 TDI CFCA, what happened was business as usual. 135,000 kilometers is still not a bad result, since many T5 diesels ran out of power even at the interval of 60 to 90,000 kilometers. The 2.0 TDI twin supercharged engine is coated CFCA and develops 180 horsepower and is a derivative of the old 2.0 TDI EA189 series, the same one that was involved in the emissions fraud story. CFCA was installed in the transporter in 2009 to 2015. In the fall of 2015, it gave way to a completely new diesel engine from the EA288 family. Notably, the twin supercharged variant was used in the Volkswagen Crafter and Amarok. It developed 163 horsepower and was designated by the code CKUB. But it is the CFCA that should be avoided. Of the approximately 140,000 engines produced, about 11,800 engines seized after relatively little mileage. In Germany alone, 6,300 such cases are mentioned. It is worth noting the scandal in Norway. The medical service purchased 166 ambulances based on the Volkswagen T5 with 2.0 TDI-180 horsepower. Soon, 150 cars were out of order due to engine problems. Coincidence? Don't think. The first typical sign that the end is approaching is a significant increase in oil consumption. But the immediate cause of the malfunction is a defect in the EGR valve cooler. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. BMW also had a problem with the USR. True, in his case the consequences are much more dangerous. There was a real risk of spontaneous combustion, which is what a number of Bavarian owners faced. In VW, the malfunction only threatened to jam the engine. In the 2.0 TDI CFCA, it all starts with corrosion from an incorrectly designed EGR valve cooler. The aluminum from which the radiator fins are made oxidizes and crumbles, and the fragments enter the cylinders through the exhaust gas recirculation system. The garbage begins to wreak havoc, the first symptom of which is an increase in oil consumption to 1 to 1.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers. The aluminum particles act like sandpaper. Sawdust damages cylinder walls, pistons and rings. At some point, the axial clearance on the ring becomes so large that the ring becomes something like a pump forcing oil into the cylinder. Repair. Possible, but usually very expensive. Owners often decide to completely replace the engine. Advice for all CFCA owners, if the engine does not consume oil yet, then replace the EGR module with a modernized one, designation D, as soon as possible. When the engine starts eating oil, it will be too late. Volkswagen only acknowledged and disclosed the cause of the defect in 2015, more than five years after the debut of the 2.0 TDI CFCA. Volkswagen dealerships have received TPI instruction number 2039830. It reports the problem of increased oil consumption in CFC engines and indicates what steps should be taken, measuring oil consumption, replacing the engine, DPF filter, when the engine consumes a large amount of oil, 
there will soon be nothing left of it, catalyst and lambda probes, oxygen sensors. Do you think Volkswagen bears all the costs? Whatever the case. There are cases where VAG paid for part of the repairs, but the car had to have a documented history in the dealer network. And this is despite the fact that the malfunction is the result of a design miscalculation, and not a violation of operating conditions. One owner had to update the engine three times, every 80,000 kilometers. However, the service covered only half the cost. For another, they initially agreed to pay 50% of the costs, but then the compensation was reduced to 30%. Why? Because the oil consumption measurement was carried out on an engine already operating in emergency mode, and the lubricant consumption turned out to be low. Increased oil consumption only occurs under certain conditions and depends on driving style. However, 140,000 vehicles have undergone a preventative replacement of the EGR module. If you detect increased oil consumption, you should contact an official VW service center, where they will perform an accurate measurement. What you do next depends on how much lubricant the engine actually consumes. Each case is considered separately, and if certain conditions are met, Volkswagen is ready to bear part of the costs. The problem only affects the 2.0 TDI twin supercharged version equipped with an aluminum EGR valve cooler. The malfunction does not occur in other engine versions. The 2.0 TDI still doesn't let us forget about itself. This time, after pump injectors, burst cylinder heads and problems with the oil pump, it's time for twists and turns with the 2.0 TDI CFCA. It's a pity that Volkswagen is not ready to admit its mistake and take full responsibility.